Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another GTA 5 LSPDFR tutorial. And this one is by request by Aaron, who asked if I could do a tutorial on one of two. This is one of two free graphic mods that I think are one of the two best free graphic mods out there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we are going to do. We are going to be installing in this video, Make Visuals Great Again. Make Visuals Great Again is the very first graphics mod that I ever installed in my GTA. It still runs great. It still looks beautiful. And folks, we're gonna be installing that today along with Reshade. You can get amazing graphics in your GTA for absolutely zero dollars with that being said let's get started there are a couple of things you want to download of course and click the first link down below that says make visuals great again it will bring you to this page right here os gamer network big shout out to uh competence 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 this person right here all right when you get to this page right here what you're going to do is you're going to see this download this file right here click that and you're going to agree and download all right and there it is right there make visuals great again the zip and download it okay uh make visuals great again it does not take too long to download this um but this is an amazing graphics mod uh the second video that we will do that will drop in a few days will be the visual v i think is the second best free graphics mod out there okay so Make Visuals Great Again is downloading right now. Now this is a semi-heavy graphics mod, but it looks beautiful. Um, I had a 1070 Ti, which ran it beautifully. So, you know, compare the 1070 Ti to whatever graphics card you have. If you have something lower than that, this might be a little too heavy for you, but anything above a 1070 Ti uh, should run this no problems, okay? So while that's downloading, let's go ahead and click the next link down below that says reshade it's going to bring you to this page right here once you click download it's going to bring you to the bottom of the page uh whoops that is not right just scroll down to the bottom of the page and right there download reshade 5.7.0 click that and that will download pretty quick and you can go ahead and open that and it will bring up the uh that's okay if this if this if this shows up, it is okay. Just click more info and run anyway. I promise you this will not hurt your computer. Um, that's just my virus shield that tells me that you might not even get that prompt. But this is the official reshade website, so it's safe. We're just gonna minimize that for now. Okay, so Make Visuals Great Again is still doing its thing. Uh, while that's doing that, let's locate um let's locate our main directory while that's downloading i'm not sure if we need to go to the main directory it's been a while since i installed make visuals great again because i run quant v the patreon i love it um so what you're going to do is you're going to open up your file explorer you're going to go to your disk drive that your steam games are installed through program files times 86 steam steam apps common you're going to see your gta folder right there Go ahead and double click it and here's mine now this is one of my gta folders that has no graphic mods in it there are no graphic mods in this no lighting no els light I'm, i have els but i don't have like better i have zero graphic mods in this folder okay so we're going to minimize that and also let's fire up our open iv i know we need that for sure click windows and let this fire up now, make sure your edit mode is on and let's minimize that. All right, now our make visuals great again should be completing. And that's why I said it's a little bit on the, it's a little, it's mid range heavy. Um, definitely not as heavy as uh, like NVE or NVR or anything like that, um, but it is a great graphics mod. All right, so we're gonna get rid of the purchase me box, minimize our web browser. So. We have our reshade ready to go. We're gonna minimize that. We have our make visuals great again, WinRAR. Let's get started. 
double click the make visuals great again folder and you're going to see you got the automatic installation if you double click that it's going to be the oiv we love those oiv files then you have the manual we're not going to do that one and then you have optionals okay now you do have reshade and enb but this is um this is uh these are old versions so do not do those and of course we have the taxi sign uh fix right here which we do have to do that all right so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our open iv back up okay right there and we're going to double click this automatic installation double click that now double click make visuals great again or don't double click it grab it drag it right here and drop it all right it's going to bring up this box right here you're going to click install and uh, always select mods folder and install all right so while that's installing i'm going to grab my little handy dandy cheat pad here that has my pathways because unlike criminal justice i cannot remember the pathways to save my life all right so it's installed so let's close that now in the winrar you're going to click back and you're going to go to the optionals right here and you're going to click this taxi sign fix right here double click that all right so you got your taxi signs to dds right here this is um we need to fix this so you're going to take this file taxi underscore signs underscore two drag it to your desktop and drop it just like that all right and actually they have the install path right here double click that the readme there we go this is the pathway we want to take so over in your open iv you're going to follow this pathway right here so mods time 64 e if you do not see it over here go over here and click it and it'll ask you do you want to copy to the mods folder just click show to mods folder all right so mods time 64 e levels gta5 vehicles that rpf and here we go now we want to find the taxi ytds ytd the ytds are all the way at the bottom but they're alphabetical order all right so here's the ytds now we want to go down till we see taxi and it's right there there's the taxi ytd double click that all right so as you can see the taxi underscore sign two is right here if we click that this will show up very bright so if you do not do this step you're going to see that taxi sign is going to be very bright in your game we need to fix that so highlight the taxi sign two and you're going to click replace you're then going to go over to desktop and you're going to look for this one that we just dropped there so go on down there it is right there taxi underscore signs two select it and then click open once we click open you're going to see this picture darken boom so it darkened like that that's what you want go ahead and click save and now i don't think it's in here as well no it's not in there either all right so we are done with that we now have make visuals great again installed in our computer so we can get rid of that readme file we can exit out of the make visuals great again winrar and let's minimize our open id and you can delete this file as well now let's bring up our um let's bring up our reshade all right so what you want to do here is you want to click browse it's going to bring up your file explorer and you're going to again you're going to go to that pathway that i told you okay so you're going to go to your disk drive that your steam games are installed through program files times 86 steam steam apps and common all right hold tight right there now you're going to see your grand theft auto folder double click it it's only going to have a few files in there you see that it doesn't show all your files you are going to select the exe which is only going to be the green v not the v's with the ribbons through it you just want the one that says gta 5. click that and select open all right once you do that it'll have it in there click next you want DirectX 10, 11, 12. Click next. And click uh, next. Right here, you want to uncheck all and check all. Click next. 
and let it install. And at the end of this installation, uh, Reshade does give you the opportunity to uh, donate to the research of uh, Reshade, which I have done myself. I think it's absolutely awesome. You can become a Patreon right there and click finish. And I believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have everything that we need to install. Now, uh, you when we, we are gonna go into the game and check it out, I will tell you your police lights, ELS or whatever, uh, are not gonna be bright like you like you see in, in, in my game and other YouTubers' games. In order to get those lights, I tried to go to lspdfr.com just now before I started this video, but their website is down. It, it goes through the, you know, the, the maintenance, it's going through the maintenance, so it's down right now. But I do have a video that shows how to install better ELS and better radiance. I will link it uh, at the top of the video as well as down in the description. Definitely, definitely watch that video and install those mods after you installed this, okay? So let's go into the game and let's check it out. I'll see y'all in there. All right, folks, so I just wanted to throw this in there. As you're loading in the game, you will see this reshade 5.7.0. Reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. Do not do that yet. Just wait until we're in the game and uh, I'll show you what to do. Okay, now I'll see you in the game. All right, folks, so here we are in the game. And as you can see, we still got that message right up top there, right? So this is Make Visuals Great Again with no reshade presets set yet, okay? So we have no reshade presets set yet. And uh, this is what we got. It looks pretty beautiful, right? It looks pretty good. So let's hit the home key and you can back out of that right there. And what you wanna do is skip tutorial. Just click skip tutorial. All right, now I'm gonna go over some of the ones that I like to choose. But again, you can go and choose to your liking. You can hit stuff like adaptive fog and you can adjust the things down here. Um, I really don't do a lot of adjusting down there. Um, I do like adaptive sharpen. If you look at the ground, you will notice, like look like right here when I turn it off. See how it kind of gets blurry? If I click adaptive sharpen, you can kind of see it makes those stones look a little more realistic. Um, I also like to use, uh, let's see, let's see. I also like to use clarity, right? You can see clarity kind of opens it up a little bit more kind of gives a little more texture to the ground in that. Uh, let's see. Uh, colorfulness is also a good one to use. See that kind of adds, definitely adds a nice hue to the moon, to the street lights. The headlights look great, right? It just, it really makes your colors pop. That's a good one to use. Um, Dehaze. Dehaze will, it, it kind of, it's hard to explain it for instance look at the lights here up on the mountain look at the lights over here that's at the airfield and if i click dehaze you see those lights get brighter if i turn it off they kind of get duller because they're kind of hazed right so you can dehaze them that's another one i like to use and uh delc sharpen again you will see the the ground, if you look at the ground right here, when I select it, you will see the ground kind of kind of pops, right? And then you have ones like uh, HDR will make things a little darker, I believe, right? Yeah, HDR will darken it. Okay, HDR will give you darker nights. Okay, but the, the sky just really, oh, see, that just looks so good. Now, if you really want darker nights, I know some people really love darker nights. These two right here, Levels and Levels Plus. If I click Levels, it gets super dark. If I click Levels Plus, even darker. Now, this isn't for everybody. Not everybody likes this, okay? I will keep them on for now. I'll show you what it looks like in the city. And uh, so some of the other ones that I like to use uh not layer no not layer um so if you go down and like i said folks you could check all this stuff out you can just click them and just see what it does right 
reshade is such an amazing uh app it's such an amazing mod for your game um another one i like to use is uh there's smart sharp i will say smart sharp is a bit heavy okay smart sharp if you look at the ground again really makes it like super super contrasty sometimes almost grainy um and then you have things like unsharp which will also add you know kind of a little bit of brightness so once you do that click active on top and then go down here and make sure to select this performance mode it's going to take out look at that that's what it looks like with everything off that's what it looked like when we started and then once it gets performance mode it'll put everything back and you'll see the difference watch okay your guys might disappear no you won't it's just because it'll come on don't worry folks it's going it's doing its thing just watch when it kicks back on the difference again this is what it looked like when we first jumped in this is make visuals great again vanilla which still looks better than regular and then you got that that actually looks like shit <laughs> that looks like shit it's too dark folks we're gonna take this stuff off i promise you all right we can hit our home key again and let's let's kind of go to the city and we're gonna go to my favorite spot y'all this like i said this is this is uh, my absolute favorite spot to go, which is gonna be right about here where the billboards are. You might notice that your map is a little laggy because the, the, the more things, the more things that you add, the more things that you add in, in your reshade, the heavier it's gonna be, right? But I mean, this looks kind of good. This might be too grainy for some people's liking. So now that we're here in the city, uh, let me go ahead and bring up my simple trainer and I'm going to go to weather and let's make it rain. Let's make it rain. Make visuals great again has great rain, rain effects. I love their rain effects. I love the drops, the way they're slanted. I love the puddles that they provide in the street. Look at these graphics, y'all. These are absolutely free. Now I'm going to click my home key again and I'm going to back out of that so we can see it. And what I'm gonna do is if you scroll all the way to the top now, it'll have everything that you have selected up top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the levels. Okay, get rid of that levels and get rid of that levels. Now look at that. That looks super cool. You could even just keep one on if you like. Even just having one on looks really good. Or get rid of that one and put levels plus on. Looks fantastic. I like it. I love the way, listen, make visuals great again, folks. This is, look at these graphics. They're amazing graphics for absolutely free. Okay, and let's back out of that. And let's go back out. See, that, that lag kind of went away because we got a couple, we, we, we got rid of one of those levels. And now let's go back out here. And your night times are dark. Again, we're gonna spawn a an emergency vehicle. Okay, let's spawn an emergency vehicle. Now you can see the lights are, they're bright, but not super bright. And there's hardly the, the reflections, the reflections on the building is kind of, it's a little weak. They're only behind you. They're, you know, that's not that great. The headlights look, might look a little weird. Um, but again, adjust your settings. If we go back into reshade, you can adjust your settings. Uh, that might be the dehaze. Yeah, see, dehaze will take that down. Um, the more things that you touch, you just gotta find your happy medium, folks. Okay, you just gotta find your happy medium um, and what you like, your personal preference. But again, those those lights, the the non-brightness of the lights and the not no reflections there's no reflections on the front or the side of the vehicle which there should be again check out the video i have down below how to install the better radiance and the better els you will thank me a million times sideways all right um i believe i believe that is it one of the other things that i really like to show that's probably going to be the thumbnail for this video is with make visuals great again we're gonna park we're gonna park 
Oh, we're going to get rid of this vehicle, actually. We're going to get rid of this vehicle. Uh, or not, because, oh, I'm not on duties. Oh, it doesn't get rid of police vehicles. That's okay. So what we're going to do is one of my favorite things I like to do is I'm going to hit F3, and I'm going to go to weather, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put extra sunny, right? Extra sunny. Then I'm going to go to time, and I am going to go uh, ahead one hour. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is just beautiful. It's so beautiful. Again, this might not be somebody's cup of tea, but this is all the stuff that we did with your reshade. Your reshade is what's going to give you these different looks, right? The different looks, the the two contrast, the contrast and the textures and all that other good stuff, okay? Make visuals great again is a it's it's more of a cartoony graphics mod, meaning it's going to make the colors pop as you see right now. These colors are popping. They're very vibrant. The next video I'm going to do is going to be Visual V. You're going to see that it's got more of a realistic tone to it. Visual V colors do not pop like this with or with. They could with reshade, but if you like this kind of cartoony look, um, make visuals great again is the way to go for you. Um, but like I said, in a few days, we're going to drop the visual V, um, install. And yeah, that is totally going to be the thumbnail right there. Um, we're going to drop the, uh, visual V install video and you can compare the, you can compare the two. Um, so that is it folks. Get you some amazing graphics for absolutely free. Zero dollars and zero cents. And really really make your game pop um if you want to see again i'm running on a 3080 uh before we go i can go to settings and i'm going to go to graphics and i am going to run a benchmark test all right i am going to show you what kind of fps you can expect running make visuals great again with reshade as you see i'm averaging between uh 75 to 78 frames per second um and it's you know it's going to run through the course as you can see there uh it's averaging about you know again um at nighttime it drops down to the high 50s 70s um but folks you can see uh even if you even when i had a 1070 ti i was still running at about 40 to 50 uh fps which is good that's 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 good you're not going to see any clipping any lag or anything like that so um folks uh we're just going to sign it off right here as it goes through this test i really hope this helped you if you're new here and you liked what you've seen please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you know when new content is added as we're always dropping videos and going live and doing fun things here on jeffrey gamer and please consider giving this video a thumbs up the more thumbs up this video gets YouTube gets all warm and fuzzy inside and they, you know, they recommend this video to others so it can reach and teach them just like it did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive, follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. See you on the next one. Later, y'all.